Hello there, YouTubers, and welcome to another episode of Dr. Cassette's Workshop. This is really just going to be a quick and dirty video to kind of show you what I've been doing the past weekend right there in front of you. This is what, uh, <laughs> what I would like to call the Single Circuit Board Amplifier. Now, I do have a pretty bad habit, and that is to just uh, make up projects from just about one million different circuit boards and different sections and modules and whatever. Good example for that is this. This used to be part of an amplifier that I built in, well, around 2004, I believe. And as you can see, it's one module mounted on a piece of wood, and the only thing this does is uh, to contain the rectifier bridge. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's how bad I am. So this is kind of a step forward, ten years after. <laughs> this thing has everything right on there. Transformer, fuse, rectifier bridge, smoothing capacitor, voltage regulator, and a little amplifier. This is a two-channel amplifier. Uh, relies on the LA4505 stereo amplifier chip, which is uh, it's an insanely old thing. It must be from like the 1970s. However, I did pull this out of a, a very cheap modern boombox. So that's where that came from. And, well, originally I intended to use this on my workbench as kind of a little amplifier for testing applications. But I guess it ain't gonna happen. A uh, mistake I made, I guess the mistake that, uh, that I made, was that, um, well, <laughs> I used a heat gun that I recently got to pull this chip off of the original circuit board. Uh, just uh, put some hot air on there and chip just uh, pulled straight out after a while. That was incredibly comfortable. But I guess I overdid it. I ran the heat gun on a position that was just too high and that probably fried the chip. It was incredibly hot whenever I pulled it off, but it wasn't really uh, wasn't really concerned about that all too much, but uh, I guess probably killed it because I'm putting in a signal with a signal generator and everything's fine. It does reach the input of the chip. Everything else doesn't seem to be all over the place. All seems to do what it should. Uh, unfortunately, the only thing I'm getting out from the outputs is a 170 millivolts DC. That's, of course, uh, straight at the chip. I'm not getting anything out of the whole unit because of uh, the output capacitors, you can see. So, oh well. Probably an afternoon spent for nothing. But I've uh, been fiddling about on this for a while with the, uh, the oscilloscope and couldn't really find anything that uh, would give away some sort of an error. So. Yeah, just to kind of prove to you that uh, not everything I ever do turns out to be working. There it is. The single circuit board amplifier, and I'm definitely going to try to uh, build a functional example of this type of thing real soon. So anyway, quick video, as I already said. So uh, thank you for watching and see you again soon.